On the 22nd of May, 1941, the day after the capture of Malame Airfield, New Zealand troops mounted a counterattack on it. 2nd Lieutenant Charles Upham, a 33-year-old platoon commander with the 20th Battalion, led his men over 3,000 yards without artillery support. When a German machine gun nest held them up, he attacked it and took it out, then led a charge against two machine guns and a house, then crawled to a third machine gun nest and destroyed it with a grenade. In spite of these successes, the airfield was not retaken and the New Zealanders withdrew. 2nd Lieutenant Upham helped to carry away a wounded man before organizing a party to get more, then, with just one man accompanying him, went 600 yards through German-held territory to find a friendly company and bring it back behind Allied lines. His trials continued as, over the next two days, he was blown over by a mortar blast, received wounds in the shoulder and foot, and also had dysentery during the entire campaign. On the 25th of May at Galatas, he successfully defended his position from a heavy German assault. His platoon killed over 40 German troops and finally pushed them back. As a retreat began, he stayed forward to make sure that men wouldn't be left behind. When he finally went back to his own men, he was fired upon, he fell and pretended to be dead, then killed the two Germans who approached him. On the 30th of May, now at Svakia, in southwestern Crete, his battered platoon was tasked to take out a German party in a nearby ravine. He dispersed his men, then went, with two men and a Bren gun, to the hilltop overlooking the ravine. After uncovering the German positions, he killed 22 of them and set the rest running. In spite of all this good work, the Cretan campaign was lost. He and the rest of the New Zealanders were evacuated to Egypt. Second Lieutenant Upham, a Canterbury farmer who had enlisted just two weeks after the outbreak of war, would see plenty more action and would even be the only man in the war to get a bar to his VC. More about that later.